It's a warm day, the sun's out, and you're out for a drive. Time to roll down those windows and sing at the top of your lungs. If you love me right now, this could be the sum of our lives now, honey. Nothing increases endorphins quite as fast, but if you have a newer car at a certain speed, the helicopter sound vibrating from the windows can quickly become unbearable. Those windows go right back up and the fun in the sun is over. It's called the buffeting effect, and it's due to aerodynamics. It makes our cars more efficient and safer, but at a cost to one of our favorite warm weather pastimes. You have basically air that's flowing over the car as you're driving along, and that air tends to be turbulent. And buried within that turbulence are small little fluctuations in, in pressure uh, and velocity. So as the air passes over the car, it will cause oscillations at the resonant frequency inside the car, and that's what you hear. The thumping sound is the result of aerodynamics. It's the trade-off for fuel efficiency and driving stability. With more aerodynamic cars, the air flows closer to the surface of the car, as if you were holding, let's say, a, a bottle or something, you're just blowing over the top of it. With modern cars, you have the air passing over that little gap in the window, and it's just enough to set off that resonant frequency inside the car. There are some things you can do to lessen the effect. And still enjoy some wind in your hair. You can adjust the frequency of the sound by, by changing the, how much the windows open. Because one of the things that, that defines the frequency is basically how much of a gap you have. You could open the window cons considerably larger and you get so much air passing through it, the lack of smoothness of the interior of the car, it tends to break up that, that resonant frequency a fair bit. But you can't quite get rid of it completely. Combine the science with singing a little louder and I think we might have just found a solution. So let's have 